Okay. Okay. Shahi, tell me, you know, how how you how you linked up with Um Wow, yeah. Yeah, that's a long story. Well, um, short version. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the short version. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, thank you. you know, Save the book. You know, we're gonna push the book. I'm gonna the short version. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna push the DVD in the book at one pack. Right, 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 right. The short version. Um, I through certain experiences, through you know dealing with the music or whatever, I met this brother at Down Entertainment. Big up the Down Entertainment. I believe. You know, yeah, leave it at that. So, <laughs> <laughs> up to my brothers and dad. Nah, that's just how I believe it at. I keep it really Crazy. coming on me. But anyway, I met this brother through Down Entertainment and through a, another brother that we all know, DJ Dessert. Um, okay, big up Dessert. Dessert. Yeah. Dessert. Carolina history. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, why I kind of want to go. I want. I kind of want to go back. Free Lil V nature. Yeah, that's right. right that, nature, you know what I'm saying? Free Lil V. Hey, man. Man. Real pretty, real pretty. Let me plug Lil V, yo. We just did Lil V last project, the whole album. Fire. Bang, word. It's bang. Y'all, the, the gossip. Hey, look, Free Lil V, the gossip coming soon. Coming it is soon. a banger. So coming soon. Full soon. Right. Free Lil V, man. Yeah. yeah. But, um, <laughs> I, it's kind of like through relations, six degrees of separation. That's okay. all I'm going to okay. do in the short version. All right. Um, But first, let me big up to my dudes. And I got to do this before I even go. There. Big up to my dudes, Yad yeah, Food Front. Yo, first North Carolina rap act to get signed, blew it up. 88 point when they did their thing, we wouldn't be doing this right now if it wasn't for them cats. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for them cats, so I gotta say that. But uh, through the dealing with the dealers of the music, I met him through Down and Table, DJ Dessert, and in turn, I met him, uh, met V through C's. We found out that we had a lot of things in common, we had a lot of uh, relationships that we had dealt with, with through people. Right, right. Um, we felt like, you know what I'm saying, that we could change the game. We all had our mindset to change the game of music, not only around here, right. but as international as well. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But first and foremost here, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I just feel like we got a, we, North Carolina sitting on a, on a, on a, on a jewels, just like, this is like a diamond mine. They are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, it's gonna it's gonna take some some people to come together and cultivate the diamonds, and we should be the ones and not let these uh, Def Jam Carolinas, these Dipset Souths. Oh man! Um, <laughs> oh wait a minute! All they, these Souths with that label, major label. Do they, they do they really exist? I mean, because you know a lot of people scream, yes. but I don't ever see the work. I mean, me either. But I'm just saying, you know, don't think you're gonna come get my money. <laughs> I'm for life, brothers like rap. I got the other day. I saw a Rough Rider. Suburban ride down my No, house. right, right, yeah. But they wasn't playing nothing. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Just let it be known that we said it right here that you ain't about to get this money, that this is our money. Oh, we're gonna get the it for life here. We ain't greedy. We're trying to spread the money, show the money, give the money, spend the money. Let's make the money together. You know what I'm saying? And let's get it in. Because this, this is our shit right here. This is our shit since day one. You know what I'm saying? If I can name other people that, that did it in, but hey, big ups to all y'all. Y'all know who you are. Right, right. I ain't gonna go through that line of people. If you had to say the state of North Carolina hip hop, what, what would you say about that? Um, we're confused. Let, let me say this, man. You know, when we're we confused. went to uh, that's the main word. We went to Greensboro and uh, Shelly B. Bash. Uh, big up Shelly B. Doing her thing. Big up Shelly B. Big up and Shelly B. you know, open mic. I, I I'm not gonna front. It was a couple of hot cats out there. A couple of hot cats. But everything was bang bang, shoot 'em up. Okay, gangsta, gangsta, hey, gangsta, right, gangsta. Right, everything was either that or bounce down south. You know what I mean? And, yeah. uh, kind of generic. Type. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, one right after the other. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And, you know, what we was coming with was just so different. They looking at us like, what the hell are these niggas right. doing? Right, you know, you know what I'm mean? saying? So, you know, was anomalies in the matrix. as far as the state of North Carolina <laughs> hip hop, man, I think it's the state of current hip hop period. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we've gotten away from the lyrics. You know what I mean? Which, I mean, I love hip hop. Right. And I'm glad hip hop can uh, adapt and uh, elevate. Because hip hop ain't going nowhere. Never. You know what I'm saying? Never. So, I think this is just a phase we're going through right now. You know, when the next phase comes through, whoever, you know, whoever that may be, drop something hot that the world, like Ice Cube said, be a new nigga next year. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, whoever that new nigga is next year, you know, will take hip hop to another level. You know, but I was looking. Uh, I was looking on the internet and uh, actually two hip hop cats that sold the most albums in the 90s. Right. Uh, Eminem and Nell. Right. In the top 10. They were in the top 10. Right. You know what I'm saying? So hip hop is uh, major. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, it's broad. You know what I mean? Like, 
I, I mean, you know that rock and I guess right now we on our rock and roll trend in the hip hop game, right? But we are rock and roll. Though. I mean, we are, but you know, the 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 format that is in right, I got you, I got that you. is rock, moving the back around. Rock, rock. Now cats is like rock rap and. You know, I've seen a few cats in NC like that, rock, rock rap, you know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is, you know? I think it's a niche for everybody, man. You find your niche, man, and ride it too damn I just think nowadays in hip-hop, there is no originality. Right. It's like everybody is doing the same thing. Everybody is selling dope. Everybody riding on 24s. Everybody chain swing low. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody rolling the, 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 the Dutchess with perp in it and shit. <laughs> but I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what's different about it? I remember, you know, back in the days when I was listening to hip hop and hip hop was hip hop. It was like you go pick up two tapes and like they were totally different. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was like two totally different ideas, but if they both was equally as hot. You know what I'm saying? You can listen to a whole joint and listen to it from song A to song Z. Right. Without skipping over any tracks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like you're skipping over tracks to find the tracks you do like. Right. Is anybody buying albums anymore? No. no. Yeah, from other niggas. So don't <laughs> nobody else get no money. <laughs> like, yo, like, yo, like, you know. Look, check it out. My, that, hey, when's the last time you bought an album and said, yo, I'm going to listen to all 13 cuts? So that's been like it's 1996. Yeah, it's been, it's been, you know what I'm saying? Been. Like you don't hear nobody stuff where you like, yo, I need to hear this whole album. Right. Well, well, not buying it. Yeah. You know I, mean, what I'm you know, I was a little excited about Jada Kiss album coming out. Yeah. You know, I wanted to hear that. That's one of the last real lyrics though. You know yeah, what I mean? No doubt. Like, no doubt. Damn, no. yo. Bit up the D block. Yeah. South. Roll it up. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was talking about the South. <laughs> big up to my dudes. You know what I'm saying? Big up. Big yeah. Big. Mm. So, um, other than, you know, you got Rokita, right? So, Rokita, and we got K-Soul, you know what I'm saying? His okay. album is untitled, it hasn't been determined yet. Do you see rap or? He's a single hustle, okay. okay. you know what I'm saying? Um, we're trying to perfect, perfect, we try to perfect the, the R&B, and Carolina's and dare to say that we are the best R&B label okay. in the Raleigh area. You know what I'm saying? Anybody want to take that on as a competition, you know what I'm saying? Let's Y'all heard what he said, to make it happen. <laughs> Yo, you we, know love, we love to instigate stuff. For pop, you know, on a positive level, you know so what I mean. What else I was saying is, if you are on being, you need them fire tracks for your your, your joint. You need to come holla at your boys right here for like music. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but we, we don't want to get exclusive either. We are hip hop based. You know what I mean? Yeah, just got some army artists too. That's what you're saying. And we think hands down. Shawnee, when you come, you got out. You rap. You coming out with an album or what? Man, uh, yeah. Well, actually, I'm on the business side of things. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I was an artist first and foremost, right. and uh, we work. Actually, me and C's work on a project with a couple of other artists in our camp called the Four Light Kings. Oh, Hell the Kings. Hell the Kings. Hell the Kings is the name of the album. Where they so, out of? Everybody is out of Raleigh. Yeah, okay, they out of Raleigh. Raleigh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got another part that's in Atlanta that's a matter of fact, this coming today, my man Ramon Funderburk, M O N E, Man on Edge. Okay. The day. Uh, he's supposed to be coming to the interview, but he's got tied up in Greensboro at the moment. You know, okay, so okay. Well, shout out to him, man. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, no we doubt. got Show Spank handing out work, you know what I'm saying? This album, Show Spank handing out work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming out here very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Y'all sound like y'all got uh, also, also, my old joint, C's Murder, Romans 715. If you ain't know what it is, go grab your Bible, check that out. Word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, check that yeah, verse out. Get at me, uh, www.myspace.com forward slash DJ Big Problems. Problems with a Z. Get your copy of that. And yeah, we, you know, we got a couple of other outside projects in the work. You know, pretty much like what we're trying to do, man, we're trying to give people that don't have a lot of money, affordable rates, like you can get a 12, 13 song project done, tracks and recording for a stack for a thousand dollars. Get out of here. That's where we're already right now. That's production. And that's you also know, and, the uh, recording, mastering, got, and everything. Right. And we got a couple projects going on right now. So I'm going to tell you now, if, 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 if you're serious about your music, now's the time to get in on it. Because soon, the price will go up. Very soon. Right. Y'all yeah. heard it, man. <laughs> the price will go up. You get all that shit for a G. You know what I mean? But once again, y'all will take a G. Y'all will drink it down, or y'all will get some fucking reds, or smoke it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then you want to be a superstar, like too. and you ain't got no dollars left. <laughs> no Give doubt. them the money. <laughs> They'll help you become a superstar, and you can do all the other shit later, man. Word, word, word.
Word. We do what others want and others don't. I'm telling you, you can't hands down, you can't beat it. On the management tip, five percent, five percent unheard of. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Whole projects for a stack. Yeah, the steady rate, man. the steady rate for management is ten percent. Come on, man, you know what it is. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you know what no, I'm so um, as far as like um, putting your music out. 